Here we have the um, U Block C94 M8P310 working as a base and a rover. Uh, obviously, the rover's not moving. Uh, normally, that would be moving around uh, like in a car, autonomous car, that sort of thing. Or in this case, it's an autonomous tractor. And uh, we've got it connected to an Arduino DU. Uh, the reason I've selected the DU is that it's a 3.3 volt operating system, or, um, which is compatible with uh, these two gadgets here. Uh, since it's on um, serial port, so I've got one TX wire, that brown wire there, is running to the RX on the DU. And if we look on the screen here, looking at the deviation map, we've got a really good tight deviation. It hardly even shows this is at maximum res resolution. And if we go back uh, down here onto X and Y, look, we've been going for 737 seconds. And during that time, we have a minimum of 691 millimetres and a maximum of 767 millimetres, and if I subtract one from the other, so I've just got a calculator here, 767 minus 691, 76 millimetres in, so that's the deviation in 770 seconds, it's just pretty good. I think. Um, working on a um, fixed system here rather than the float, so we've actually got a really good fix there. And if you look here, that's indicated by a static green light. And over here, these are all the readouts on the Arduino serial port. It took me quite a long time to set the Arduino up, a lot of fiddling about. And uh, yeah, eventually got it all, all the readings coming out on, on the Arduino as well. And that, all these um, values here are actually going to steer the machine around the farm, and uh, uh, that, uh, that enables the machine to be uh, programmed to navigate to different uh, latitudes and longitudes. Okay, so the next step, I guess is to actually work out some kind of navigation program from, uh, from this data.